Hello friends, today we will solve this question, this circuit, this ideal op-amp circuit. So I will tell you how to solve this, uh, this although it looks a little complex, but uh, if you know the formula, op-amp formula, non-inverting, inverting formula, then you can uh, solve it like this, summing amplifier op-amp circuit or uh, we can use just the nodal analysis as I already told you in my previous videos nodal analysis is the best uh, means uh, error free output to get the error free output for in case of op amp circuit so let's start doing this one we will discuss about the formula also and uh, i will do i will tell you the whole uh, circuit the solution for the whole circuit uh, by using nodal analysis so let's start doing this one so before starting please like and subscribe my channel okay so the question is saying we need to find find the output voltage v naught of the ideal op amp circuit given below so you can see there are three op amps are connected okay so this is a summing amplifier you can say if you know the formula you can directly get the value from at this point okay and uh, this is the non inverting so you will get directly uh, value at this point also okay and uh, here due to virtual ground uh, these two terminals have the same potential so we can draw the equation for that one and easily we can get the output v naught okay so this is our circuit okay so here you can see uh, this x terminal is connected with three uh, resistances and uh, voltages are also applied so first we will do apply nodal analysis at node x so we will apply nodal analysis at node x okay so as i already told you in every case i am taking uh, outgoing currents i am considering all the currents are outgoing at this node okay so they this node is having four branches this x node is having four, four branches this okay so all are i am considering these are outgoing terrain currents so the potential at this uh, node x is called vx so vx minus 100 millivolt divided by 3k so you can see vx minus 100 millivolt divided by 3k then plus vx minus 100 millivolt divided by 6k plus vx minus 200 millivolt divided by 2k plus vx minus vy the potential at this terminal is vy i am calling it y node okay so vx minus vy divided by 24k so here you can see vx minus vy divided by 24k so this equation nodal analysis summation of all the currents outgoing current should be equals to zero since i am taking the at any node the all the currents are outgoing okay so this is your equation equation now due to virtual ground at this this point due to virtual ground x will be zero okay so i am putting the value zero minus i am putting vx uh, value 0 so 0 minus 100 millivolt divided by 3k plus 0 minus 100 millivolt divided by 6k 0 minus 200 millivolt divided by 2k 0 minus vy divided by 24k okay now uh, when when you will solve it okay so just take vy divided by 24k other side and rest of the things will be same now you will solve it so you will get vy is equals to 3.6 volt here 800 plus 400 plus 2400 okay so this this will become 36 3600 because this k will cancel out all the k's below okay and when you solve this one so you will get 3600 3600 and this is millivolt so it will become 3.6 volt okay so you got it vy value so we got this this terminal value we bought okay now we need to calculate vz uh, here you can also uh, use the formula uh, for the summing amplifier if you know the formula so vy will be minus rf here if you see minus rf uh, inside minus 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 is given so you can take minus out uh, outside so minus rf divided by minus div, uh, minus rf in bracket v1 divided by r1 plus v2 divided by r2 v plus v3 divided by r3 this is a formula for the summer amplifier okay summing amplifier so you can put directly this formula also if you don't want to apply the nodal analysis and then solve it you will again get the vy is equals to minus 3.6 volt so let's move to the next point now we we are going to calculate this z value okay so 
come to this z value okay again if you want to use the formula don't want to apply the nodal analysis you can directly apply uh, non -in oh, sorry inverting amplifier formula that will be uh, vz potential at this point vz is equals to minus 2.4 means minus rf by r1 multiplied with input voltage so here when we are applying a nodal analysis at a to node a i'm taking it as outgoing current I'm taking it as outgoing current. So I applied the nodal analysis. So VA is zero at VA is zero due to virtual ground. Okay. So zero minus 500 divided by 200 ohm, zero minus VZ divided by 2.4K. Okay. So when you solve it, VZ divided by 2.4K. Okay. So when you solve it, so this will become minus 2.4k divided by 200 multiplied with 500 millivolt and you will get vz is equals to minus 6 volt what i want to say if you want to apply the nodal analysis you can apply the nodal analysis if you know the formula of the inverting amplifier so it will be vz is equals to minus 2.4 minus 2.4 divided by 200 multiplied with input 500 millivolt now let's move to the next step now we already know uh, vy value and vz value now we are going to calculate this v okay so again i am taking uh, this terminal as v because these due to virtual gain ground this terminal and this terminal both will have the same potential so we are calling it v okay so let's uh, let's do it uh, similarly applying nodal analysis at node v Okay, so uh, you can see here in this op amp, uh, both nodes will have the same potential V due to virtual ground. So this V1 and V2 non-inverting and inverting terminal will have the same potential. So V1 is equals to V2 is equals to V. So we will apply the nodal analysis at node V. So I am taking this terminal. Okay, so at, at this point I am taking. So V V means more potential at this uh, node is v so v minus z okay divided by 500 ohm v minus 0 divided by 5k so this is this is the equation v minus 0 i have taken first this branch so v minus 0 divided by 5k plus v minus vz okay divided by 500 okay is equals to 0 this is a 500 ohm okay remember this one so when you will solve it okay so vz will become minus 6 volt okay you can also apply the potential divider okay in case of potential divider uh, th this is z this is v and this is uh, ground okay so v will be vz the potential at this point multiplied with 5 kilo ohm divided by 500 ohm plus 5 kilo ohm so this will become minus 6 multiplied with 5k and you will solve it you will again uh, get this value okay you will again get this value so vz is equals to minus 6 we already got it in uh, previous question uh, previous uh, pre previous uh, slide okay and now when you put the value okay when you put the value vz vz if you when you will solve this you will get this expression if you want to apply the potential divider then also the potential divider will also give you the same expression so v is equals to minus 5.45 four five volt so you got it okay now let's do it uh, now we got this v okay we we got the potential at this point now this will be uh, this v means at this point the potential will be minus 5.45 okay so now what we, now what we will do we will apply the potential uh, nodal analysis at terminal v means i'm talking about this v v terminal okay so again let's do it so v terminal again similarly applying the nodal analysis at v so v minus vy divided by 1k v minus v naught divided by 10k okay so this will be your expression okay now you know vy is equals to minus 3.6 and v is equals to minus 5.45 so what we will do we will put these two values in this expression and we will get v naught okay so you can see now uh, v, v minus vy 
and we have this vy this is v now put the put the value vy and v in this equation so uh, v naught by 10k i have taken other side v naught by 10, 10k then v minus vy divided uh, by 1k plus v by 10k now you put the value so minus 5.45 here minus vy so minus minus will become plus 3.6 okay and plus uh, plus minus uh, putting this value minus uh, 5.45 now you will solve it so you will get v naught is equals to minus 23.25 okay or you can say v naught is equals to 24 volt so i hope guys you able to understand the whole uh, means a whole uh, answer of this question so if you like it please like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching